Here we are guys, as promised, Bone Brigade Series 14, Mike McGill. This deck is so killer. This is the Black Light Edition, and so we're back to it. We've done the Hawk and we've done the Guerrero. So we have the McGill left here that we're going to do today. Then we have the, the Mountain, uh, the Mullen, the Cab, and uh, is that it? Yeah, two, three, yeah, that's it. So uh, we'll get this one done, and then let me know what you want to see next. They've had some people reach out and say that they want the cab, so maybe we'll uh, attack that one next. And I actually really dig the cab. It's so different because it's early 80s um, versus, you know, the mid to late 80s. Uh, but anyways, let's talk about the Mike McGill here because it is absolutely fire. This deck looks so good. Um, it's one of the ones that actually sold out um, in most stores quite a bit sooner than some of the other ones. Usually it's the Hawk and the Mullins that go crazy fast, then Guerrero, I would say. Um, and the McGill's usually, like, I think you can still see a Series 13 McGill in some shops here in Canada. Uh, but anyways, the Series 14 Mike McGill seemed to just blow out everywhere. And a lot of you guys were commenting saying that it was one of the faster ones that went out of the shops as well for you guys, uh, especially down in the States. I don't know about other places like Australia and wherever you guys are from. So let me know in the comments, but let's just talk about this one. So lots of good stuff to talk about here. Uh, we know Mike McGill. So Mike McGill, 1984, does the McTwist. Oh, yeah! moves that were the catalyst to open up opportunities and just even the thought process for people to start thinking outside the box going okay this is achievable this is something that we can do and Mike McGill was the one that did it so he did the McTwist 540 and uh yeah just revolutionized what was taking place on vert ramps back in the day uh, so his initial graphic that we seen um, that he originally had in the earlier 80s was the jet and then we went to the Skull and Snake. Um, and then later in the 80s, uh, we went to the full back graphic here with the snake skin. And I think that was 87, if I remember. I'm going to have to look into it, guys. But I think the snake skin graphic was 87. So 84, I believe, was this original graphic here with the snake and the, uh, the skull. And there was quite a bit of controversy around it because back in the day, a lot of people thought it was very occultic. Um, and we're not super excited with it. They thought it was very satanic. And uh, yeah, a lot of stories just weren't even wanting to carry it with this final graphic. Um, but Mike lived in Florida and hence the snake there. Um, I forget. I'll have to, you know what, I'll post up the card there. But it talks about the graphic. Obviously, Vernon Cortland Johnson um, did the graphic up for him. And originally it had horns, different things, snakes coming out of the eyeballs, and it just was not going to fly. And so this was the final one, and it became ultimately as iconic as it is now. When you see this graphic, you know this is Mike McGill, um, which is really rad. And so the top graphic here we have, again, that fluorescent pink on the black looks so sick. Um, we have the ripper coming through. It uh, has the 7P there for 7ply. It says 7ply as well. I'll pull it up here. And then Bones Brigade, and this release was 2023 um, SOC. Awesome. All right, well, let's burn through some specs. This guy, as far as the shape, is the 277. And if you remember, I've talked about this before, but the last three digits, um, you'll see here just kind of stamped are the shape of the deck. Uh, the concave on this one is the SP3. Uh, the nose length, so pretty short nose on this one, is 3.75. The wheelbase here is uh, 15.3 inches for the wheelbase, so measuring in between the trucks. Uh, the tail length on this one is 6.33. The total length of the deck, uh, so tip of the nose to the bottom of the tail here, is 30.38 inches. And the width doesn't even hit the 10, but it's very close. 9.9 .9 inches for the width. Um, here's a good look, or a better look anyways, at that concave. So not a lot going on there, but you can see that it is uh, more definitely than obviously the early 80s. And so yeah, this is kind of like that mid, mid 80s concave that you see in a lot of decks. Side profile. Such a sick deck, that bottle nose. 
I do want to get, and they've released the more of that shovel kind of spoon nose on a few of the other um, series, and unfortunately it hasn't dropped again. So I'm going to let this Mike McGill go because I have the Series 12 back here. So I have the complete series of the Series 12, and I'm not going to keep all of the series, every single deck that comes out in all of the series. Um, but should one of those other shape decks from the uh, later 80s drop again for the Mike McGill, I will definitely be grabbing it because I actually dig those shapes. So kind of, it's more like the Steve Sayers or uh, the Ray Barbie here. Um, little, you know, more kind of like the cab even. Um, yeah. Anyways, if that one drops, then I'll maybe grab that as well. As far as the graphics, again, we talked about Vernon Cortland Johnson doing the graphics here, and it is the heat transfer process, so no longer are they screening right onto the deck for production purposes. They kind of screen onto these heat transfers and apply with heat over the entire deck for the top and bottom. Uh, we did not talk yet about what comes with this, but before I change that or lose that thought process, let's just finish off with um, the truck wool patterns. Are they old school or new school? And we can see here with my trusty cycle riser that these are indeed the old school truck wool patterns, which again, I love because it matches up. It makes more sense to me to have old school truck wool patterns on these old school reissue decks. It just, it makes more sense to me. So with this deck, uh, we didn't get a lot. Uh, in previous Bones Brigades, they dropped pins and they brought um, some coupons for like the video. There was different things that you would receive as uh, bonuses for buying the decks, but this time around, all we got was the rider card. And so I love getting these rider cards. Gives a lot of good information on them. And uh, I just think it's pretty cool. And so there's the information there. It just talks about his graphic, his uh, the McTwist. Gives a little testimony from Stacy Peralta, I believe as well in there and a little more information on Mike McGill, his shop that he started in 1987, uh, and that he was included into the Skateboarding Hall of Fame in 2017, and rightfully so. Um, it also provides the run number here, and so within this run there was 2,500 Mike McGills that were released, uh, were released for Bones Brigade Series 14, and this number is pretty high, it's 1,731. And so a little bit of a higher number there, um, but these rider cards are really cool. And if you mount these and if you put them in shadow boxes and stuff, they look really good to have the card mounted up beside it, um, you know, giving that information. <clears throat> All right, so there's the rider card that we got. And honestly, it just came in this really cheap plastic sleeves here, additional space here for the rider card. Uh, one of the things just to, re to remind you guys is that this release is no longer made in the USA, the Bones Brigade series. They once were. Um, but they've moved to the Mexico plan, and so the stickers here indicate that. So it says manufactured in Mexico, but also with this one here, it does say um, that they're still using seven ply hard rock maple, um, American hard rock maple. Um, and then this is now just a Skate One warranty card, and you scan that if you have any issues. And then obviously just the SKU number down here and uh, information on the Bones Brigade McGill 9.9 inch black light series 14. Awesome. All right, so there you have it guys. We burned through that one pretty quick. Hope you like it. So next up, I'll probably do the cab because I've had some requests for that. And then pursuant to that, let me know if you want the mountain or the mullen. Um, but here we go. Just take a good look at this beauty. Honestly, one of the most sought after for the Bones Brigade series 14. And I fully understand why this green, like this combo just pops like absolute madness. Uh, again, I talked about this in one of the other videos, but it just feels like this is the doorway into the arcade in the 1980s with just all the vibrant uh, colors and lights going off and seeing these under black light looks really rad as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for popping in. There you have it. Be sure to come back, drop your comments, drop the subs. Love it all. 80s love. Peace out. Cheers.